Remember from previous videos here, I had uh, some dents. I just want to tack this with the grinder. I want to see what I got. I got a good seam. It's a good seam here. There's one little dent here, one there. But this easy stuff to fill in with just a little bit of filler. I mean, that's all I want to do. I don't want to up here. After hammering out some stuff from underneath, um, with some lows, and actually here I'm getting what we call, they call oil canning from uh, stretching the metal. And I should be able to hit that with some heat and flatten it out. I'll stop that from happening. But yeah, I got some waves here. Surface rust coming back. Um, I went over here, we had a crease. It was like, I'll show you from underneath, you can probably see. It was like a big hatchet, hatchet wound. Uh, but I was able to beat that out. Um, but again, same thing. I, I'm not a body man. It actually came out pretty easy. Uh, but now it's also oil canned. The whole thing will go down over like low. I need to have a low or I have a high. So, and then I got little, the little dents. This is right under the framework. So I really couldn't get in there. So I might try and heat that. Just try and get it to stay down. And it's a, it's, there's a little dent over here. But the hood is not cracked. Usually they, uh, the one says it's a common problem. They crack here and under the hinge. And they say common problem. Well, the common problem is nobody lubricates their hinges, thus putting all the stress on the hood. And these are factory, these are as cripple zones for accidents. You get in an accident, that's why that channel's there. It's made to cripple so you don't kill yourself. Uh, the real problem is lack of lubrication on hinges. Honestly, it's not a weak hood. I mean, they do rust. And yeah, that's not going to help that situation either, but let's get back to basics. It's maintenance, people. But uh, underneath, yeah, it was, um, it's tough to get in there. I'm able to get in there and beat up some of that. Um, so yeah, so I think the hood is straight enough to keep. So I'm just going to try. I think I'm going to try that now. I'm going to try and heat that and heat that. Let's see what I can do. Can and issues is... You often move the uh, issue around. Here, I heated that area. I still got definitely tightened up this area. So what this is it? This was stretched, so it heats the metal. And this is all cold over here, so it can't go anywhere. So it kind of goes in on itself. So then you have to quench it with a cold towel, and that makes it all solid again. I mean, it's still got. It took a lot of it out. It looks like it moved it this way. That's what they were saying. If it, it can move to other areas. But took that down. You can see there's definitely a gap. I can probably hit up from underneath. That way I don't have to use a lot of filler there. That, to me, that's too much filler. I don't know. There's guys that probably do that, but that's the bad bodywork I've seen. Where it all flakes off. Um, over here you can see a glare, so you can see now where my waves are. A lot of waves there. Uh, and then maybe I'll try and work on that one. But yeah, it's heating, quenching, hammering. Just got a dolly kit from my roommate had. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna, I'm just toy with, why not? See what I got to come up with. I mean, a new hood is 150 bucks, people. It's gonna be Chinese. This might be Chinese junk too because it's white. But it's not the original hood. Um, but everything else, uh, I think it's original. I think the hood and that fender have been replaced. So let's 
see how people working on this. That right there. Just that little bit. I think that's what I'm going to Just going to do a little heat there. See if I can tighten that up. So it is bulged up. So you take a, I can take measuring off the other side of the hood and go all the way across and it's flat. So that little, if I push down right where that is, it'll be good, you know. Of course, until I get to here. I just do a little more pounding. So maybe I, I'll just give a little heat there. It doesn't take much. I mean, I, that's when I went, got it until it was blue. That was, I definitely don't need to go that much. I'll go right there. A little heat. Shh. Quenching. Maybe a little hammer. Probably just heat and quench. The only reason I hammered here is because I was, had dents. That's just some great YouTube, baby. Great videos to help you. Did that again. Still getting a little bit, but I just realized that uh, when I was doing the dent, I had popped this urethane. Urethane that holds it to the frame. That one's still in there. This one's not. But that's right where this is uh, loose. So if I can get some urethane in there to hold the metal down, that's going to alleviate that, that problem. So, uh, I think I'll hold off on this for now, let it cool, and work on the front a little bit. Give you a better look at what I've got here. So we'll go to this side. You know, it doesn't rock at all, flush. Not solid, there's no movement. Over here we got, I got a high spot for this whole thing. Let's see if I can do this two hands here. But yeah, that's the that's where I'm popping up over here. So we're popping up over here more than right here. But um, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Obviously, that's sloping up there. But what would this say? I think we just get that high spot on low, and we come into our little bit of damage. So all my initial damage is raised over here. That was another thing I learned about dent repair. Because, you know, I tackle the dent. I, anybody would. You go for the center, right? You want to lift it? Well, think of a dent this way. This is what happens here. Hit the center, the edges come up. So you don't want to attack the center first. You want to hit those edges down. That'll... You know, can't cut my hand here. So yeah, that's what happens. You exactly like that. You think, and your edges come up. That's a dent. So you gotta attack the outside first. Sometimes your center will come up. So see things you learn just by doing. All right, let's see what I can do with this. Maybe a little. Well, folks, I think this is gonna be. As good as I can get it. Uh, I could. Um, unless I sand and level it out. I was having trouble heating it because it's still painted. But I do still get the push in. But I also did notice that another one of these seam sealers is, is right here, actually. That's probably what that mark is from when it got whatever hit this pop that so that my bulge is in front of that though so but it's pretty good I think once it's sanded I can hide a lot of imperfections um, and same with over here I think I'll do that seam sealer underneath and then maybe that'll hold this and then I'll just have to do some filler obviously it's gonna be filler so um, yeah and this I measured this hood, I got this, there was a little bit of a kink here. This hood was dipped. But actually just putting a block of wood here and give it a little straightened out. Uh, the other side's good. It gives us a, a decent body line here. This stuff was, it was popped, it was up, it was coming up like that. But it got down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's it for this. The hood, 
I'll keep going, I'll let you know. All right, finally cooled off a little bit. It's not really a bright sun, it's behind a smoke haze. But I'm gonna hit this with the uh, little orbital sander. See what I'm working with. This down, maybe that other one down. Maybe if I get Bondo on there started, then I can hit this side, same thing. And then maybe while that stuff's drying up, I can throw my compressor on. I think that's going to be the plan. Okay, made a little progress here. Uh, the hole got bigger, not the hole, but I decided to go out further. Every time I went out, I keep finding these deep scratches focus underneath. And when I get to them, there's rust in them. So this surface is not really crept properly. So I just keep going out. Um, I suppose some deep... I'm going to have to use filler anyway, so maybe that'll help the filler stick. Uh, you tell me. Um, let's see these little dents. It, it's still got a little something to it, but it's going to be ten times better than what it's... And then this thing, this mess over here. Um, big dent, dent, dent. That was the end of the crease. This comes up. So I still gotta attack that. And then I gotta get some uh, epoxy in there and push down on the hood. That's gonna help my dent situation. Because there was a piece of the epoxy there. So I'll work on that, see if I can get something. All right, now I forgot about this on the side here. I had that little chip paint and it was a little dent. But if you look at, as you hit it with the orbital, I just hit it with the orbital here, you can see, maybe you can see that, that crease. So there was something, did some little work right there at some point. So I just went flat with the orbital. Now, yeah, now I can feel it. I couldn't, I wasn't really looking for it earlier. But, uh, so I'll sand this down a little bit too. That way, when I'm doing the filler, I can skim coat there as well. Um, I have a straight edge over here. Let's see how far, far off she is. Uh, I think you can see that little gap there. It's not bad. Sixteenth of an inch. This, this is ugly, this mess. This, it's kind of high still, obviously. But I, once I get that urethane, it's gonna, I'm going to pull it down. Hopefully, I'll have to put a, I think I'll do a strap, and like a block, Let's go tight, let that cure. Uh, same in the front, I think there's a little urethane missing, right? There's one of those spots. I think that'll help. Um, you know, that's what's happened to make this uh, bulge a little bit. I'll keep playing with that. And did I show you the fender? I did the fender too. And as you can see, camera, yeah, right here, there was a scratch. That's what did all this. Somebody rubbed against something. I think down the end here it went up. I can see there's nothing low again, so whatever it was, we'll be able to fill nicely. Do some spray can blending, uh, perhaps. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I do. It's all up in the air, folks. So that made it a little uglier, didn't it? But, uh,. A little bit of a gap there. Right in the middle there, obviously. There's a dent. It's double lined underneath there. That's right where the, the structure is. So there's nothing I'm going to be able to do from that side. We'll just try some taps around the uh, outside. Put a pressure here with the dolly. Keep that straight. Some light tapping. Let's see if that makes any difference. Something, right. something, something like that. Do a nice downward pressure. 
Uh, I got this two-part epoxy. I love like a urethane. I don't know where automotive stores just don't have shit. There's no like body supply store around. It's like, I'm in Los Angeles, man. Where do you get this shit? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna undo that, get some of this epoxy in there, and then crap it down. And then I'll attack the uh, front one as well. Okay, there we go. Just set that in there. I kind of pushed it in there, cleaned it up. I think it's gonna dry. I think it's gonna dry as black. Yeah, I got the pressure on it. And it says, of course, I ripped the instructions, but I think it said it was a quick, it says quick setting on here. Oh, there it is, six minutes, maybe in the largest font possible. Yeah, so I let it uh, get tacky for a minute or so, and then I just swished it. Um, hopefully, I'll do a job here. And then I'm just going to do a quick coat of. I'm not ready to. I want to do some urethane on this one as well, uh, so I'm going to just do a quick thing of primer overnight. I don't want it to rust the sprinklers uh, and hitting it and the moisture. Let me look at my roof. It's finally this side rusted. It took like a week to, before it started getting the surface rust. This got rust overnight. It's kind of funny. Same with the other side. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. And then, uh, so I'll do a little bondoing there. It's coming out good. Coming out the good. All right. Oh. Okay, so the black cap doesn't mean it's black primer. Oh. All right. Note to self, only paint with black cap is uh, the color inside. Whatever. Okay. Not the end of the world. I just wanted something on there until I finish this J-O-B. Well, they say they call it body work for a reason. Uh, sanding off my primer that I put down the other night. Obviously, you can see all my lows and highs now. Um, and then I found another. This is where it keeps spreading. The work keeps spreading. There's another real low right here. So I was trying to... Get that down, maybe I'll skim that as well. Probably gonna get it down to the metal. I don't, I don't know, is Bondo stick to my back shit? I don't know. I don't know. But uh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be some waves. But if I could just get smoothed out <coughs> and or somewhat smooth and uh stop rubbing, because that really sounds good on the microphone I noticed. Um yeah, I'm just going to have to get it smooth and puttied and good enough. It's going to have to be good enough. Because I think I'm just going to go for a patina on this truck anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'll buff that out. All right, that's the plan. All right, surface is clean, prepped. My Bondo here, let's say about a half inch high. Let me take a... It's just a strip of the hardener. That's it. And then you mix it side to side, not stirring. You don't want air. Uh, and I went with Bondo brand, actually. It's actually a 3M company now. See that? 3M's good stuff, so. Uh, and this is a skim. We're not filling. That's why we did all the dent work. That's the misconception with Bondo. It's not a. You can't make. It's got to be. 16th, 8th, and 8th of an inch. Any more than that, you're crazy. Right, let's see how this goes. All right, there's an initial coat. Light pressure. It's pretty thick. Uh, not pretty thick, but it's been about not even five minutes. I'm gonna start. Uh, one of the tips I read with guys: it just gets a little tacky. You could, if you start sanding, it'll come off a little. Uh, clumpier because you're cutting this down anyway so you're not really going for a perfect finish yet so I'm, I'm going to start sanding that right now I think I'll stick with that 
Maybe that 80 I still have on there because it's worn. And then I'll see where we're at. I'll show you that. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go to block sander. Um, that's what I meant. I wanted to do. <laughs> um, this is a 120. That's as low or gritty as I have for that stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's try this again. Camera shut off. Camera shut off. So this is a block sanding, 120. This is what I came up with. Uh, it's pretty damn good. Um, the only spots, uh, high spot, of course, the metal. So now I have some divots here. I can fill in another pass. Um, I got a dent. One of these is a dent. Yeah, these are probably the dents. And then uh, the front looks good. I kind of did this groove by hand, with the, took the paper off. I'm not sure how you're... Like a piece like a 3 8 hose would be good. They said something about, somebody said something about using a radiator hose as a sanding block. I guess that's for corners and curbs. Um, so maybe I'll do another light pass as I do this. I'll take some of the stuff, do this one. See if I can uh, do that a little bit better. So it took a another pass with 220 just to see get rid of some of the big scratches but uh you know, they mentioned using a um, guide coat you can see I, I'm without a guide coat I see where I got <laughs> I still got a hit uh, and so I'm gonna do that piece and then cleaning up in between with uh, acetone um, yeah it's basically I finally went and bought a big jug of that. Gonna need it. Ooh, this stuff is setting fast. <clears throat> I mean, it's a quick, uh, quick one anyway. It says, but uh, it's pretty warm up today. It's supposed to be 88. Uh, it's still early in the morning. I'm in the shade, obviously. But um, yeah, it's. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be doing it in this temperature. Maybe I can use less hardener give me a little more time because I was spreading that and I went to skim coat this and it was already by the time I got to here it was getting a little clumpy so it's gonna work a little faster maybe I need to go out this this is that it's gonna be a little I mean, you know I never even put this on there but I so I think it's yeah way out that edge is pretty high Oops. And see what the other side does. Now, see, the other side has like a so it's not level anyway. It's got like a I'll go like that. I go at that angle, I should be able to get it somewhat level. Yeah, and this still a low spot, roughly. So, yeah, I've got a little, I'll come up a little higher. You can almost see it. Definitely, uh, that's just the first coat, anyway. So, that's bodywork 101 by me. It's not that hard, guys. Oh, oh yeah, wear a mask uh, and eye protection. Stuff stinks, so yeah, get a good mask. Proper body shop mask or at least an N95, which I have a bunch of due to the uh, California air quality. Which is, yeah, this is the first time I've seen the blue sky in a week. I don't think I enjoy body work. <laughs> ah, it's just time consuming. Prep, 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 prep. Sanding. That's the other coat. The other coat came out a little is it pink. I think I did less hardener. It was more pink. Oh, I don't know. Does that make sense? Is that the second coat? Yeah, I went here and here. Now that was the first coat. So more hardness. This uh, I'm just really trying to concentrate on my edges. That milky white means it's uh, blended, fading as you will, fade out. So this, so you don't want to see a spot after you prime and paint this. And that, so you want this nice feathered out. Um, but that little lip there, I can't get rid of. I mean, this is a little bit low out here. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could. This is a low spot, too. 
I just want to get some paint on it and get rid of the dimples. I mean, if there's a low, whatever. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Get, just get a new hood. <laughs> if you're going for that look. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm not going to fight that anymore. Worked on that transition there, too. Pretty good. Let's smooth that out a little bit. Might let this harden, the second one harden a little bit. Just been going to town. Um, and yeah, what a mess this makes, too. Jeez. Oh, well. Such is life. All right, so I sanded that as much as I felt like doing. Um, and this is kind of a test to see how much primer would fill in. Like I had these little marks. Um, yeah, and I didn't, I thought I had my edges smooth in this, and apparently I didn't. So yeah, you gotta go real smooth when you're fading. See that, it's like, it's like a rough mark. That's where I did that second coat of Bondo. So I really gotta, I think I just, I just could have gone really high all the way across. Take it all down. Trying to, try to fill in lows afterwards. I think that was a fill in of a low spot. I'm trying to get it all to blend now. It just doesn't, doesn't work that way. Um, kind of the same up here. You know, I got a mark there. It's actually a little better. I was trying to fade. Uh, is that focusing? I'm trying to fade that there. So, I don't know. It's getting there. So, that is the sanding uh, 120. No, it's one up to like two something. I don't know. I think I'm done today. It's too hot out here. I'm going to leave that as is. This dent came down with the strap. So, I think I'm going to shoot a little primer on that so it didn't rust. That's where I had the wood block. So now it's, it's a low there. I'd rather have that. It's secure now though. No more popping. And I'll have to do that spot. And we have that fender. And we have the door. And then we have the cab corner. And we have this bed. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm back. Got a new microphone. Uh, this is what I have been using, one I remember. Just a Bluetooth headset. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty good, but I don't know. We'll see. This is an actual corded lavandelier. Lav lavalier? Lava? Lav lavatoria mic. Which, um, I like cords. No batteries to die. Did some spot putty here, um, just to fill in some little divots and whatnot. Going to do some more bondo mondo over here, and yeah, let's see how this works out today. <coughs> a little cooler. This thing should set up nicely. All right, there's one coat sanded, 120. Then I had to go 220, 240, whatever it takes. Whatever it is. I had this deep... I think that was from our initial prep grinding. That I was trying to get rid of... Uh, went through spot putty there. It's pretty level. And this mess over here, though... Uh, I'm going to have to fill in all here. In that little area. And... Um, that'll be coat number two. So let me wipe that down and get another... Patch going. All right that pretty smoothed out just did that one and got that little spot there little spot there this I think I got dialed in and just filled in a little mess in the middle there and I'm just trying to get my transition my edges my feathering so I'm gonna do that one there and then I worked the orbital down this side, so we got a low spot here, I know, and a low spot there. Um, and then I'm thinking, 
I know I got a crack here, you guys. Metal, metal, metal. Uh, look at that. Spot weld that to get that secure. Then I can start. It'll help me work out this dent and that dent without too much panel mess. I don't know if this is plastic filler. I've got to get a magnet on it, but I've been grinding at it, and uh, it's not getting down the metal. And uh, obviously over here, I've got some mess to work with. But maybe I'll hit this a little more with the sander right now. Back at it today. A little hammer and dolly. As you can see, it's smacking away. Um... A little bit. There's, there's another one here I kind of missed, but that's uh, coming out pretty shallow, a little deeper. A little rage against the machine. Oh, now, we're recording now. We're getting there. I got these. Eh, a little less wavy. Can you see that? Yeah. It's definitely it's little, little. High, a little low there. I'll keep working that with the. Can't get in there with a the dolly, so I've actually been using a pry bar. Just get something in to hold it right there and. T -t 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 -t. So yeah, it's looking real good. Woo! -hoo. Hammer and dolly, baby. Okay, gotta add some voice over here. I lost some audio somewhere. Anyway, this is the roof. Getting ready to do that action. Um, driver's side, yeah, she's pretty bad. I ground it down the other day. And uh, I'm not going to get to it for a little bit here. Passenger side is probably equally as crappy. And there's two dents right here. And then I think up in front there's another little dent. Very minor. Can't get them from the bottom because it's double walled. Um, and look at this cracking. It looks like Sahara Desert. Must have been some bad prep work. Um, so I'm gonna have to just tape off the whole thing and do it in one day. Here's the bed rail. I threw some primer on it. Again, the roof as well, just because it's starting to rust, just sitting outside. Hit these spots as well and filled in this little divot I forgot about. And, uh, yeah, just throw some primer on it protect it while I'm doing some other stuff. It was a heat wave. So that's it. 